Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use the debug node in Node-RED. This is probably one, one of the most used nodes because you always want to debug your flow, <clears throat> see how it works, if it uh, displays the right thing, if it does the right action. So let's just drag one node here and I'll also pull uh, inject node. So this is just this will just help us uh, test our uh, our flow. In this case, uh, as soon as I press this button, this node will be involved, and we'll just see what the debug node does by default. As you can see, when I press this button, this uh, information appeared here. So let's take a look and see what it displayed. Uh, the output is this part. In this case, uh, it outputs the message that payload property. Okay, and the payload property, if you look in the inject node, we can see that it's a timestamp. Okay, which is exactly what we see here. Uh, and it also tells us, yeah, we can format this. It also tells us that uh, it is displaying message that payload, and it's a number. Okay, if you want, we can set a name to the node. So let's call it. Um, Bogdan's debug node. Okay, and now we'll deploy. Press this again, and we can see that the name has what we typed uh, earlier. You may want to create uh, a name for your debug nodes because if you have multiple debug nodes in multiple flows, um, then you may want to know which node actually uh, displayed this information. Uh, there's another way you can check that so let's say that I'm going to this flow if I want to see which node display this I'll just have to click here and it will take me exactly to that node okay now let's look at uh, other things that we can do with the debug node so this, we can uh, select what property we want, we want to display so if I create another property here called uh, we have message that topic let's call it YouTube Okay, and we want to display message.topic. You can see that it displayed YouTube. Another possibility, which you may often use, is to display the complete message object. So now it will display all the properties from the node. In our case, this is the message ID that um, all the nodes will have. There's the payload and there's the topic. If you add more properties here and you select the display the entire object, then you will see all the properties in here. Okay, another thing we can do is to use JSONATA. Uh, let's say that we want to concatenate the topic and the payload. We could do something like this. Topic and let's put a space and message that top, um, payload. So now we should have YouTube space and the timestamp. Yep, here is the space that we added. So yeah, in some cases you may want to concatenate uh, properties, but there are other things you can do with JSONATA. I'll cover uh, JSONATA in other video. We can also display to the system console, so if you're running Node-RED uh, from the terminal, then you can uh, see what it displays in there. Okay, uh, the debug window, it's what you see here. So if I uncheck this and click on deploy, then nothing will appear in here. Okay, so nothing happens. I'll put this back. And we also have the node status, which can be a maximum of 32 characters. In this case, uh, we have multiple options here the node status can be the same as the debug output so in this case uh, this is what is displayed and we'll see a status in here which will be the same text so yep here it is or I can say message dot topic for example and in that case the status will be just YouTube in here Okay, yeah, and the uh, debug message stays the same. So yeah, the 
the bug mode is pretty powerful if you want to test your flows and see what's uh, what's happening wrong and why things doesn't work and uh, i hope that this video will help you